The analysis and assessment campaign is built around understanding the vulnerability, lethality, and protection aspects of equipment and the soldier systems interactions. And it's really to make the Army invulnerable. We think we can really transform survivability, lethality, and effectiveness for the Army. The reason we can do that is because analysis is integral to almost every decision that the Army makes. We develop the models, the simulations, the data necessary to feed those analyses, and we conduct those analyses ourselves. These analyses measure the effectiveness of a particular threat against U, uh, U.S. equipment, which then allows for an assessment as to whether the equipment should be fielded or whether it's recommended for improvement. A lot of what we do is looking at understanding basic injury, the biomechanics of injury. We do a wide range of work across all of the services looking at how do we prevent injury as well as from the lethality side of how do we incapacitate personnel threats to our folks. I'm a biomedical illustrator with the Army Research Lab. The room we're in right now is the uh, mobile CT machine. We have a foam representation of the, our human vulnerability model. We've used 3D printing to technologies to create this life-size 3D representation of a computer graphics model that we can now dress with different types of personnel protective equipment that we look at. The software development branch has sort of the responsibility to make sure that we have an understanding of the types of analysis that are being done by SLAD and also by other organizations in the Army to answer important questions. For a decision maker, he needs to have good information. The software that we build provides the mathematical underpinnings to be able to provide the right answer to the important questions that the Army has. Some of the work that we've done um, comes down to working with the tactical radios, unmanned aerial vehicles, development of electronic attack systems. We expect our soldiers to exhibit personal courage when they go into the field and when they're fighting the fight. The work that we do is important to making sure that they have the material they need to back them up when they go into that fight. We impact the soldier by making sure that they can have confidence in the things that they're using and what they're driving it out in the field, if it's an example of a vehicle, that's going to protect them from the threats that they encounter. The ANA campaign supports the ERAs through our, our key campaign initiatives, KCIs. With these KCIs, we take a look at analysis and assessment approaches for some of the key technologies within the essential research areas. We have synced up with the s community. We're now actually looking at and assessing technologies very early in the development process, when requirements are still being written, you can help shape better requirements for the Army. And this helps everybody in the whole acquisition cycle because you don't have industry chasing bad requirements, you don't have requirements being changed. One of the big challenges we have in the future is how do you actually predict and analyze multi-domain effects. If you think about cyber and electromagnetic warfare, they permeate throughout everything we do within the Army. And the pace of technology is moving extremely fast. So we have to be able to keep up with that pace, but then also have analysis tools that can deal with the complexity of a multi-domain environment. We're thinking about that deep future that ARL has to address, 2030 to 2050 timeframe. We think that you know, the Army can be invulnerable someday in the future based on the analysis tools we provide.